This video is sponsored by Native. More about them at the end of the sketch. All right, gentlemen, we've been tasked with coming up with names for all the bugs out there. There's a lot. It's getting confusing. Okay. All right. I'm in. Yeah, it's your job, so you don't have to say that every time. Now, what are we thinking for this one here? I'm thinking maybe wasp. Wasp. Okay, yeah, that sounds good to me. Now, what about this one? Maybe we can call that a fly, because it flies. Uh, okay, it's just so many of the other ones also fly. Yeah, but this one especially. That doesn't make sense, but I'll allow it. We're gonna have to be a lot more creative, though, guys, okay? Now, what about this stick insect here? Maybe we could call that a stick insect. What did I just say? Oh, uh, something, I imagine. That's right. Now, I'm gonna let that one slide too, but we gotta think out of the box moving forward. Now what about this one? Uh, we should call that one an earwig. Why? Because those ones wiggle into your ears at night when you're sleeping. Oh my god, is that true? It might be. Alright, moving on. This one here, what do we got? Oh. Uh, what? Ooh, I know what we're all thinking, fellas, so I'm just gonna say it. She is lovely. These aren't all necessarily female. She is blowing me away right now. Oh. Uh. I'd say this one's obvious, boys. That is a ladybug. I'm just gonna write that down because I don't want to interact with this guy more than I need to. Now what about this one? Oh god. That's got like a hundred feet. I don't like looking at that one. Just call it something that means a hundred feet and get it off the screen. Does it have exactly a hundred feet though? I'm not looking at it long enough to count. Get it away. All right, fine. Moving on. Oh, that one's even worse. Oh, that one's got like a thousand feet. Does it though? There's no need for accuracy. Get that off the screen, please. Is there one on me right now? Because just looking at that makes me feel like there is. Okay, everybody seems really uncomfortable with those. We're gonna move on to this. I think we should call that one a gnat. Gnat? Sure. I see nothing wrong with that name. Now what about this one? Those ones crawl into your mouth while you're sleeping. Is that true? It might be. This guy seems to think that bugs just constantly crawl into people's orifices at night. You can't prove that they don't. I think we should call that one a gnat. That's, you just said that. Yeah, I know. I just love to name a bunch of these after my ex-wife Natalie, you know, just a spider. Oh, God. okay. I'm just gonna take the last part of what you said and ignore the awful rest of it. All right. Actually, while we're at it, I'd love to get some names for some specific spiders, if you don't mind. Oh, here's an idea. What about a black widow? All right. I mean, that's kind of tragic and racially specific, but okay. And this one? Oh. Oh, God, not this guy. Look at those long legs. My goodness. Oh, Ooh, getting some real daddy energy from this one. I don't like the vibe that this guy brings to these meetings. I'm just going to write daddy long legs so this moment's over quickly. Mm. How about this one? Oh, well, that's an easy one, right? That's obvious. We call it a butterfly. Butterfly. Interesting. Why butter? Well, I mean, they're almost identical, right? In taste. Oh, are you, have you been going around eating bugs? Right. Okay. Okay, like we don't all catch bugs out of the air with our tongues. We don't. Not on purpose. Like we don't all partake in air snacks. You're confidently saying air snack like it's a thing, but I promise you it's not. Wait. Wait, seriously? Seriously, dude. Oh my god. Is this why Nat left? Yeah, sure sounds that way. What would a good name for this one be? B? Yeah, that's what I said. No, yeah, I know. Okay, so what's a good name? B. B what? I'm suggesting the name B. What are you suggesting it be? B. What do you- I don't- what? I'm suggesting it be B. B-E-E. -E. Now you're just saying gibberish. B-E-E. -E. Okay, all right, we'll call it that. All right, so that one is an E-E. -E. Now, well, just a suggestion, maybe we call that B? Oh, I like that. That's better. Oh, that's all right. I quit. That's fine. I didn't love that guy's work anyway. What about this one? I was thinking roach. Mm, yeah, I guess. Something wrong? I just feel like it's missing a little something to make it catchy or something punchy at the beginning, you know? I have an idea. Oh God. Oh no. Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the Adstronaut. I'm out here in ad space to talk to you about Native. So listen, I've been trying to make more sustainable choices in my life. For example, I no longer cocoon myself in plastic wrap before bed. I have a sleeping bag now. That's why I was happy to hear that Native is now offering plastic-free deodorant. It's the same formula as the regular deodorant, but with more sustainable paperboard packaging. It kind of reminds me of those little push-pop ice cream things, except I don't binge eat deodorant when I'm sad. Plus, Native products are made with simple ingredients, like coconut oil and shea butter. They're also aluminum-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. Their deodorant has a great texture that's not sticky and dries quickly, just like me. That didn't make sense. And this stuff will give you 24-hour odor protection, even after exercising. They've got a bunch of great scents to choose from, too. I got eucalyptus and mint, which is nice and relaxing. Lavender and rose, that smells like frolicking through a garden. I love frolicking! And my favorite scent is coconut and vanilla. You know why? Because it smells like coconut and vanilla. Those are fantastic things to smell like. So hey, three plastic free deodorants would be $39. But if you use my Lincoln code RGEORGE, you get them for $26. That's over 33% off. Plus with my code, you can also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. Thanks, Native. Now I can have a more sustainable lifestyle and stop stinking so much. <laughs> 